Always busy this Midland city, Birmingham's waterways make the ideal escape to unwind, then jump right back into the thick of the action, pop into the arena Birmingham beside for sporting badminton excitement and vibrancy. Welcome badminton fans to the HSBC BWF Yonex All England, the oldest annual tournament steeped in history and prestige. One of only three HSBC BWF World Tour Super 1000 tournaments spread around the world, each offering a million US dollars in prize money. Here's how the World Tour tournaments break down by category. The All England Open aligned in the highest tier, one of 27 tour stops, all building to December's finals in Guangzhou. A total of 12 million US dollars in prize money throughout the year. Here comes the generous HSBC World Tour calendar. That shows the abundance of tournaments all across the world. Next, the Swiss Open, then down under to the Australasian swing. Then the US Open back to the Far East for the midsummer. Malaysian and Indonesian Opens. Players targeting that. December's season-ending finals in Guangzhou, featuring the top eight in each discipline. Semi-final Saturday today, and the matches get better as we peruse our order of play. Again, it's two five-match sessions for you today. First up, an all-seeded Japanese women's doubles clash. From the bottom half of the draw, Matsumoto and Nagahara take on Tanaka and Yonemoto. Then match two is a mixed doubles, a first meeting between third seeds and defending champions. Watanabe and Higashino, they take on the Malaysian school. And Chevon Jamie Lai, our third offering is men's doubles. The tireless Japanese third seeds, Kimura and Sonoda, take on twice world champions and former world number ones, Ashan and Setiawan. Fourth semi final is a women's top five clash of the titans between current and former world number ones, Taitsu Ying and Akane Yamaguchi. That's a repeat of last year's women's singles final. And to round out the session on semi-final Saturday, we've men's singles top seed and world number one, Kento Momoto, between him and a final spot in tomorrow's showpiece, is world number 15, Angus Nkarlong from Hong Kong. Later in session two, starting at 5 p.m. local time, your eyes are drawn to those mouth-watering singles, aren't they? The semi-finals, Chen Yufei, the third seed, takes on Nozomi Okahara in the women's singles, and Victor Axelson, the sixth seed, Takes on Shi Yu Chi, the second seed and defending champion. Well, what a terrific day ahead for you. Big hopes for these strong title contenders. And uh, the pretenders have come and gone. Only the contenders extend their stay to the weekend. And that's what's coming up first. Women's doubles from the foot of the draw. Medal podiums within sight now for the very best. Down to one court as the media spotlight lasers into the sharp end of the tournament. Who will make that extra push for tomorrow's title deciders? The all-Japanese women's doubles clash. Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. And there they are, the third seeds, 23 years old. Here's Mayu from Hokkaido in Japan, off that career high ranking. World champions they are. And uh, well, they had an amazing season last year, didn't they? Considering that they were ranked 32 at the begin beginning of last year. And uh, Mayu's Partner Wakana Nagahara, also from Japan, 23 years old. Yeah, so this year also three recent semi finals, including the World Tour finals and the Malaysian Masters, Indonesian Masters as well. There's their tournament results, their path through. As you can see, they were really tested in that quarter final, weren't they, against Li and Zhong of China. That went the distance, 79 minutes it took them. The other two matches was uh, a little bit more academic, but they have been on form on the way here. There's no doubting that. Could a finalist here last year they were as well. On to their opponents. Kohalu Yonimoto, world ranked seventh. They have been as high as fourth in the world in June last year and uh, 
Kuharu's partner, Shiho Tanaka, from Kumamoto. 160 centimetres tall. Now they can find solace in the fact that they've defended their points from last year's semi final showing here where they lost to the top seeds in the event in three close games. That's their route through. Their first round was a tough one against the Indians, Ponapia and Reddy. But other than that, relatively plain sailing, particularly against the Russians. That was a mercenary scoreline 21 15, 21 9 inside 40 minutes. Ready to play. Now, this is where it gets interesting because Tanaka and Yonemoto have never lost at World Tour level to today's opponents. And the last win was indeed in that Thailand Open last year. Straight games win it was for the underdogs. Although it's hard to say that because they're both top 10 seeds, top eight seeds, I should say. Hello to our umpire and service judge. But also Tanaka and Yonemoto had the win in the US Open as well. But that was three years ago, back in October 2016. So some would argue well, that's slightly irrelevant. But, uh, well, Japanese women's doubles, quite outstanding at the moment, isn't it? Seeds number one, three, five and seven, all surviving thus far in this discipline from five Japanese pairs in the women's Doubles starting lineup, no surprises that two, super, two pairs have survived to the semi finals, such as their women's doubles prowess and demonstrating the Japanese depth in this discipline. So the pretenders have gone, only the contenders extend their stay to the weekend. Who's it going to be? to push for tomorrow's showpiece final. Paul Hand in the commentary position, ushering you through this one. On my right, what a day we have ahead for you. Okana Nagahara, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Siyo Tanaka, Kuharo Yonomoto, Japan. All Japanese women's Kuharo doubles semi final from the bottom Yonomoto. half of the women's Matsumoto. doubles draw. Love all. Just about to commence on semi final Saturday here in the Arena Birmingham. The Yonex All England Open. Service over. One love. Well, if that's anything so to go by, right. we are in for a treat. One all. Tanaka Yonemoto getting on the scoreboard first. After all, they've never lost to the world champions. Can you believe it?
that's a great leave from Wakana Nagahara there. Very focused. And I say they've never lost before, but of course they've probably practiced endless times together and played in smaller tournaments along the way at some stage. They will know each other's patterns of play inside out. And that sort of bodes well, doesn't it, for a match that we hope desperately will live up to its billing. Thunderous finish from Mayo Matsumoto there. She is standout in that front court when she's Three, one. really on it. Spellbinding rally there. McCannon Nagahara at the net doing a grand Four, job at one. intercepting this and just negating all the pace on coming. Cushioned that nicely. Guaranteed Japanese women's team in the final from this bottom so, so half anyway. If that's not enough, Yuki Two, Fukushima four. and Sayaka Hirota as top seeds of the event take on Chen and Jia from China in the other semi final. That'll be in this evening's session from five o'clock local time. Do join uh, Jill Clark for that and Morton Frost as well. Morton will be joining me for selective matches this morning. Talk of the devil, he's just Three, walking behind four. me and uh, taking his place right now. Morning. sharp both teams and it's making an eye-watering spectacle so far and although it's early doors don't take your eyes off Menace. this one wasn't ready hang on so point will be replayed Some pace on it, didn't it? Six three. Might be a little shorter than her playing partner, but that was red hot. Misjudgment from. Matsumoto, but she has immediately elected to challenge the first challenge of the match. Upstairs we go. English fans giddy with excitement now. The button has been pressed. Was it in or out? Indeed, just a chance to step off stage momentarily, catch a breath, grab a slurp and a towel down. Well, come on, Hawkeye. Yeah, thought so. Kiss the edge. Challenge unsuccessful. Service over. Four, six. Disbelief on uh, Mayu Matsumoto's face there, as if to say, is that right? Thank you. Camera never lies. Ah. 
four, six. Play. Service over. Seven, four. Well, the higher seeds are muscling their way through at the early passages of play here. Longest rally of the match, that one. And in the end, it was Shiho Tanaka that yielded. Eight, four. 46 shots. Well, it's been riveting from the off, this one, hasn't it? As anticipated, it certainly is living up to its billing at the moment. Strong arming through Nine, again. Four. Nagahara this time. Is thunderous from Matsumoto and a squeal of delight in response Ten right out of the sweet spot of the racket. This one so loose and free, <laughs> she was pleased with that. Four in a row for the third seeds. And suddenly, a six point chasm between them. Deal. Team in blue just uh, having a little chat, seeing how they can turn things around. Umpire ushering them to get on with it, please. <laughs> so to the turn, the third seeds establishing their seniority with a seven point buffer after just 10 minutes played. the world champions with the lead in this opening game.
Well, when you think of Japanese women's doubles, you think of metronomic dependability, don't you? Such was the quality in that rally. It had everything, didn't it? And I would suggest that was probably the longest rally of the match now. Wow. And again, Tanaka just being a little greedy. We saw that on the previous longest rally. 106, how about that? <laughs> it's going to be a long day, folks. <laughs> Buckle up. Wow, the star pairing. And Matsumoto and Nagahara there. Just getting out the magic potion. That was sublime, wasn't it? Given that court position. Down. Service over. 5-14. And to me, thus far, the red and white team at the top of your picture have just had that little bit more injection of pace on tap every now and then. Along with slightly greater consistency in the crunch as well. Albeit marginal though. Superb. Slam dunk to the floor Six by Matsumoto to conclude another excellent point. 15, demonstrating a lot of patience. Five. The world champions building the point nicely, not over pressing or trying to pull the trigger too early. It's been standout from these two so far. A ten point buffer. There, very, very quick at the net. 6 15. But they're playing high percentage badminton, both teams. Big targets they're going for. As much as they're changing up the angles and speeds, it's all been very dependable. Did so well there, opening 15. up their opponent's court with that flat, hard forehand drive, cross court, but yielding in the end. A rare unforced error from Wakana Nagahara there. Again, the searing power of the tallest player on court, Matsumoto, there telling. 16 7. Bulldozing through another overhead. 
And as well as Tanaka and Yonemoto have played, the scoreboard for them doesn't make a good read. And really, not a fair justification of their rich talents and how hard they're working here. 17-7. Seven. Well done. It was the point prior, just spreading the court of the third seeds that really was their undoing. 8-17. That one there, lovely. Deep push. From Chiho Tanaka. Play. Oh. Oh. Service over. Eighteen eight. Good idea, just snatching out a little. Oh, that's brilliant, Seven isn't it? Well. Nine, eighty. A good drive or cross block in defence, key to turning those kind of points around. Particularly prevalent in women's doubles at the moment. Ah! Again, straight Seven smash seven. from Matsumoto. She's been deadly, hasn't she? Nine. I remember when they came out having had to save a couple of match points against them, against Shima and Hirota in the World Championships finals to get to the title. What a moment that was for them. just bobbling off the top of the tape that one favorably for the third seats 20 game point nine So fine are the margins. Just about 1% here and there, isn't it, at this level? Brilliant. They're not done with this game 11, yet, the seventh seeds. If nothing else, they're just trying to salvage something to try and gain a little momentum going into the start of game two. Good lead from Matsumoto and the third seeds in menacing mood, desperate to avenge those two previous defeats in their only showings 11. against Tanaka and Yonemoto. So Matsumoto and Nagahara after 22 minutes have come through. 21-11 in that opening game.
Off the players back for game two. Ready to get underway. Can Matsumoto and Nagahara Second continue game. in this vein, rich vein of form oh. that they're in? Play. An imperious showing by the third seeds. Both teams former semi finalists at this event last year. These two, they lost out to Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, 21-12 in the semi-finals last year. An hour and 11, that was, for Tanaka and Yonimoto. Another long rally. Their opponents with their back to us right now in red and white lost to the Danes, through to Yulam Pedersen in their semi-finals. So both very, very experienced teams. We know that. But both familiar, more poignantly, with semi-final Saturday at Birmingham. Who this year can find a way through? Well, it's first blood for the higher seats. What next, though? Service over. Well, again, it sort of senses one. that the drift is on coming here on court one a little, albeit quite subtle. Play. Too greedy with the touch there. Nice idea. Two, oh. So such is the uh, quality of this. Early doors in game two here. Nothing between these two teams. In the bar again, the third sees there. That was precise. And it was a 6-4 in the opening game when they broke away with that run of eight consecutive points, these two. What can they muster here? Is that the start of another brilliant long run of momentum?
just seem to have that little extra chili when they need it, don't they? A little extra pop on the shuttle. Four, two. Ounce more penetration every now and then. Not a great deal, but just a little bit more than their opponents. And it seems at the moment to be telling that and plenty of patience about when to pull the trigger in the point. They're blending these points beautifully. The third seats. Sound like I'm doing a disservice to these two, but it's been such a great match. It's a standout so far. Well, it's just missed, or has it? Challenges called out. Matsumoto doesn't think so. Mayu wants to go upstairs and have it checked. If she's found it, that's three in a row. Just missing. Challenge unsuccessful. It's often hard to tell, isn't it, when the One shuttle's crossing remaining. the line at such speed. Service over. Three, four. Well, Play. Had there been a run of three points, that would have been quite unsettling for the team at the top of your picture. Not so. There's a resounding authority about the near team when they're on form. But a uh, couple of errors creeping in. Psychologically, oh, it was on the line, beg your pardon. That was a nice, nice length for the seven seeds. Generous rally length as well. And all those long rallies, it's important psychologically to try and come out on top. Of course it is, because they're like little mini battles that in the context of things can really swing momentum your way. Is this the start of the turnaround? Of course, it's too early to tell, but it's the first time, really, over the last couple of points that the Shiho Tanaka and Koharu Yonemoto have broken to the front in the match. 
play. Can they hold on? Quick conflap between the third seats. Super reflexive brilliance from Matsumoto. Five, six. That was audacious, wasn't it? Standout rally from both teams again. Six all. Shiho Tanaka had much of the attack in that point, but unable to put the point to bed. Play. In the end, it was Ukana Nagahara here in your picture Place. that uh, rifled Fast. another Fast. smash down. Well, they deserve that. They've been fighting so hard over the last couple of points. And Shiho Tanaka has been uber aggressive with not a lot to show. So a little bit of lady luck there will do her confidence the world of good. Shortest player on court, but she can really pack a punch in the crowd enjoying that one. It's been a quite a physical contest we've been treated to some really long rallies and it's been rich variety in, in a lot of them as well both teams twinning so well together sort of intuitive knowing about where each other will be seven six
eight, seven. Just that little bit more clinical in the attack, the third seed so far. Another bruising rally with nothing on the scoreboard for Tanaka and Yonemoto. They need to start turning those longer points their way. Consistent. The third seeds, once they got Ten, on the front foot seven. here, they had the bit between their teeth and these short sort of lift the ways just got what they deserved. <laughs> well, they have been menacing, seven. haven't they, from the off. 11-7 to the turn, the third seeds go again. Frugal in error. It's been a high percentage aggressive display from them. Desperate to go one better here and reach their first All England final. Well, the two at the top of the picture will want to be reflecting on that Thailand Open performance. 11, Back on the 13th of July, it was Play. a Friday, and they came past Matsumoto and Nagahara in straight games, 23-21, 21-19. It's a must-win game for the blue and white team at the top of your picture. And that's a gorgeous return to rekindle Eight, their interest 11. in this second game. Not that they're that far off, but that will do them the power of good. Appreciative of the quality badminton Nine, on display 11. here on this solitary court in the arena, Birmingham. We started with five courts on Wednesday, and gradually honed down, drilled down onto one. Confusion there. Tanaka getting stranded somewhat. 12, Her nine. opponent sort of almost holding up her hand there, saying, yeah, you're right, that might have been mine, you know, by the look that she gave her. There's a look of uh, 
resignation and submission. Nice try with the flick serve, but uh, Tanaka quickly back here. Don't think she'll be doing that again in a hurry. The server, that is. Now, as commanding as the third seeds are, you can imagine that they've been playing at a very, very high level throughout these two. And you do sense that any slight drop off and their resilient opponents, their compatriots and friends, I'm sure, will be in. Was that a challenge oh, or just a wave? Out. That is a challenge, yeah. Looked a little non-committal there for a moment, didn't it, from uh, Yonemoto? Crowd invested in this one. They've enjoyed what they're seeing. They want a third game. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge yeah, remaining. Tell, and that's the reaction. They want this to go the distance. And 14, they want both teams 10. bringing their A game simultaneously. Play. That's what they've paid their tickets for. They want to be treated royally. So far, it's lived up to its billing, though. This We've had some terrific rallies and multiple long rallies. See Costa Deer in the end, Yonemoto there. Wow. Four consecutive points now for the world 16, number threes off that 10. career high ranking. Beautiful cross block there into the hole on the court. Service over. 11 16. flag is nearing you sense and with it it's easy to over force isn't it and perhaps lapse in concentration by over trying I don't know a racket sports athlete that's not done that before the perfect turnaround wasn't it crowd appreciative in the quality they watched there it was a swing and a miss there from 17 Matsumoto. 11 but uh, they redeemed themselves and get what they wanted in the end <laughs> happens to the very best Well, another very good week in Birmingham. Looks like it might be coming to an end for the blue and white team. 18, the far end, 11. the seventh seeds. They have fought gallantly. But now you sense that their time is almost up. The third seeds, just three points away 
from a spot in tomorrow's showpiece. Make that 19, two points 11. away. Four consecutive 20 points match for the world champions. 11. And it brings up nine match points. Surely they won't be denied now. So desperate to finish in a flurry. 12 20. Been impressed with Makana Nagahara in terms of her smash power. She's really added. Complement that with Matsumoto, and it's something very special they have as a team. Simply brilliant. The third seeds and world champions, semi finalists last year, going one better. They move on in Birmingham and avenge two previous defeats against today's opponents. Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara coming through in straight games. 52 minutes it took them. Confirmation of the scoreline there 21 11, 21 12. Mayu Matsumoto and Rokana Nagahara motoring through. Making that look relatively straightforward. We were treated to some really good rallies and they will be mightily relieved. But they just were that little bit more clinical and precise on the day with a slightly more power overhead as well. And uh, that was a superb result for the third seeds through to this year's final. <laughs>